Hey guys, it's Kassara, and today I'm going to be talking about my fantasy book series challenge for 2020. So I mentioned this challenge in my 2020 reading goals, but I didn't go too in depth with it. It's all of the book series that I put in this little cauldron, and I'll be picking out two of them every month in 2020 to read in that month. For the challenge, I have to read the first book in that series. Hopefully I'll get really into the series and continue on and read the other books in those series. But these are all series that have been on my radar for a while, but I don't know very much about them, which is why I haven't picked them up yet. But I really, really want to. And these are all, for the most part, adult high fantasy series. There are some in there that could be squinted at and looked at as, as not adult or not necessarily fantasy, but most of them fall into that category. Also, if you have any recommendations of series like this that you think I should check out, please recommend it to me down in the comments because I love to get your input and I love to hear more from you guys. Basically, what I'm going to be doing in this video is talking about all of the series that are actually in this little cup and introducing the first book in those series of the ones that I will probably be reading in 2020. I like to go into my fantasy series kind of blind so I don't know very much about these series so I won't be talking too much about them in general but I will be talking about why I wanted to read these series in the first place. So the first series on this list is the Soldier Sun trilogy by Robin Hobb in which the first book is Shaman's Crossing. So Robin Hobb is an author that I found last year that I really really love. I read all of the books in the realm of the elderlings and under her pen name of Robin Hobb, she's only written one other trilogy, which is the Soldier Sun trilogy, Shaman's Crossing, of course, being the first book in that series. And I don't know anything about it other than it's written by Robin Hobb, and that's why I want to read it. I have not heard particularly good things about this trilogy. Like, I've heard The Realm of the Other Things is really good, but I haven't heard very much about the Soldier Sun trilogy. So I'm not too optimistic about it, but it's Robin Hobb, so I want to read pretty much everything that she writes anyway. That's why this one ended up going into the cup, and hopefully I'll end up liking it. The next series that I put on this list is The Shattered Sea by Joe Abercrombie, and the first book on this series is Half a King. So this series is technically a YA fantasy, but it's Joe Abercrombie, so of course I put it on this list. I don't really know anything about this other than it's kind of like the first law, but it's set in a different world, and again, it's YA, so it's a little bit less mature. I'm still really excited for it, because like I said, it's Joe Abercrombie. I want to read everything that he writes and there are a lot of books by him that I'm planning on reading next year that The Shattered Sea just wasn't a priority for me so I put it in the cup so at some point in the year I'll be picking this one out and hopefully I'll end up liking this one as well. The next series on this list is The Mistborn Error 2 by Brandon Sanderson, the first book being The Owl If Law. This is the only book in all of the series that I've actually already read but I don't remember anything about it. At least I think I've read it. I might have only read the first chapter and then DNF'd it because it just wasn't the same as the first era Mistborn but I've been meaning to finally get to the second era series so that's why I put it on this list. I know that I'm not gonna like it as much as the first era because the first era was amazing and the second era is just so completely different from it but I put it in the cup so that I can get to it eventually in 2020. The next series on this list is The Lincanus Trilogy by James Islington. The first book being The Shadow of What Was Lost. So this is a series I know absolutely nothing about other than I've heard that if you really like the Wheel of Time series this is a really great trilogy to pick up. So that's why I decided to put this on this list. Also the last book in that trilogy just came out last year so I'm really really excited for this and hopefully I'll get to this one soon. The next series that's on this list is The Earth Sea Cycle by Ursula Gwen. The first book being A Wizard of Earth Sea. This is one that is kind of considered middle grade or at least it's marketed as middle grade but a lot of people have said that it definitely has more mature themes which makes me kind of excited. Ursula Gwen is also an author that I've been really interested in reading but I've never actually picked up any of her books so I figured A Wizard of Earthsea would be the best one to start with and I also recently got the entire illustrated edition. I don't know if you guys can see that over here but it's like the complete books so I need to start this series soon which is why it's going on my 2020 fantasy book series TBR because I'm hoping that it's going to be as amazing as I'm expecting it to be. The next series that's on this list is Memory Star on Thorn by Tad Williams, the first book being The Dragonbone Chair. And this is an author that I've never read before, but I've heard really great things about him as an author in the fantasy genre, and I've wanted to pick up some of his books. This is one of his older series, but I've always, for some reason, seen this title and wanted to pick up this book. So when I bought it 
somewhat recently. I decided to put this on my 2020 TBR because I'm really excited to finally get to this series as well. The next series on this list is the Powder Mage Trilogy by Brian McClellan. The first book being The Promise of Blood. This is another one that I don't really know very much about, but I've seen the hype for this book for the longest while and I've been wanting to pick it up. So I have the audiobook for it and it is in the mug. So at some point in 2020, I'll be picking that one up as well. The next book on this list is The Books of Babel by Josiah Bancroft. The first book being Sendlin Ascends. So this is another fantasy series that I've seen everywhere on booktube that I feel like a lot of people really, really love that I know absolutely nothing about also. And I really want to learn more of. And if you checked out my January TBR, this is actually one of the books that I picked out in January. So I will be getting to it really soon and hopefully I'll end up loving it as much as everyone else seems to. The next series on this list is the Raven Shadow series by Anthony Ryan, the first book being Blood Song. So this is a series I'm really, really excited for because I've heard so many really good things about this series. I also recently read Pilgrimage of Swords by Anthony Ryan, which is a short novella and I really like his writing style. So I feel like this is one that I could end up really loving and hopefully it'll end up being a new favorite of mine. So the next series on this list is The Dagger and the Coin by Daniel Abrams, the first book being The Dragon's Path. So this one is the other one that I picked out of the mug in January, which I'm really excited to get to, mostly because Daniel Abrams is part of the author duo that is James S.A. Corey, who wrote The Expanse series, and I love The Expanse series, even though that it's sci-fi and not fantasy, like that's fine but I want to read more of his work. So I'm really excited to get to one of his fantasy series because I like fantasy more than sci-fi. So I'm really, really excited to get to this one. The next series on this list is The Chronicle of the Unhewn Throne by Brian Stavely. The first book being The Emperor's Blade. I don't know anything about this series other than I found it on Book Outlet. And since I held the series, I've heard really, really good things, mostly from all of you guys who leave comments on my videos. So thank you so much. So yeah, ever since I held this, I'm just like, I need to read the series. Like I found it for the first time this year, but I feel like it's gonna be amazing because everyone else seems to love it. So I'm definitely excited for when this one gets pulled out of the mug also. The next series on this list is the Broken Empire Trilogy by Mark Lawrence. The first book is Prince of Thorns, but I only have the Kindle edition for it. So I'm gonna hold up Empire of Thorns, which is the third book in the series, as a proxy. Mark Lawrence is an author that I wanna read more of. And this is, I think, his first series that he kind of wrote. And since I already have the first book and the third book in the series, it's one that I want to get to pretty soon. From what I understand, it's kind of like a grim, dark, like military fantasy and it has very unlikable characters. And I love unlikable characters, so I'm hoping that I'll end up loving this one as well. The next series on this list is The Night Angel Trilogy by Brent Weeks, the first book being The Way of Shadows. I recently read The Lightbringer series by Brent Weeks and I love it. Like, I absolutely love it. I've heard less things about The Night Angel Trilogy, but I still want to try more of his works. And this one, I think, came out before Lightbringer did, so I'm excited to see some of his other works and I'm definitely excited to get to this one as well. The next series on this list is The Divine Cities by Robert Jackson Bennett, the first book being City of Stairs. So this one I'm not really sure if it's necessarily fantasy or sci-fi but I feel like it can be definitely considered either. Robert Jackson Bennett is an author that I want to read more of. I read Foundry Shride in 2019 and I absolutely loved it. I felt like it was really well written and I loved the magic and the world building and everything about it and I want to read more from this author so that's why The Divine Cities which is his previous trilogy on this list and hopefully I can get to it soon. The next series on this list is The Prince of Nothing series by R. Scott Baker. The first book being The Darkness That Comes Before. This is another series that I know almost nothing about, but I've heard that it's really good, especially if you like grimdark fantasy, which is why it's on this list, because I love grimdark fantasy and I want to read more of it. So I'm definitely excited to get to that one as well. The next series on this list is The Demon War Cycle by Peter V. Brett. The first book being The Warded Man. This book has been on my TBR for the longest while and I just never got around to it. I don't own a copy of it, but it's one that I've been wanting to read for a long time. I don't even know why I wanted to read it. It's just been on my radar for a really long time. So I want to finally get to it. The next series on this list is The Rift War Saga by Rimini Feast. The first book being Magician Apprentice. I've heard really, really great things about Magician Apprentice. A lot of reviewers that I really trust have really liked this book. So I'm definitely really excited for it. Also, Rimini Feast is an author that I want to read more of and he has a ton of books out, like a ton. And I believe Magician Apprentice is like the first one in his like world. So I'm really, really excited to get to that one as well. The next series on this list is The Acts of Cain by Matthew Wooding Stover. The first book being Heroes Die. So I've heard that this series is a really great anti-hero series, which I haven't read like a good one yet, but I've heard really, really good things about this one. And I really wanted to read a series like this one. This is another one of those that could be considered either sci-fi or fantasy, depending on how you squint at it. So 
I'm excited to see what the series is about because it feels like a very kind of like different series that's not really similar to anything else which makes me really happy and I really want to get to that one as well. The next series on this list is The Bright Area Revelations by Michael J. Sullivan. The first work being Theft of Swords. This is another series that is really really popular on booktube and most people when they talk about the series they especially talk about the friendship between the two main characters which really intrigues me so I'm definitely excited to get to this one as well and I've heard that it's a lot of fun so I love a good fun book especially when it's high fantasy so I'm definitely excited for that one. The next series on this list is The Band by Nicholas Ames the first book being Kings of the Wild. This is a series that has been on my radar for a really long time. Everyone seems to really love it so I've been meaning to pick it up and I just haven't gotten around to it but I'm definitely really excited to get to this one as well. The next series on this list is Seven Waters by Juliette Morillier, the first book being Daughter of the Forest. This is one of those older series I haven't heard that much of but every time I do hear of it it's usually someone raving about it because they absolutely love it and I don't know anything about it but it's been on my radar for quite a while now and I want to finally get to it so I'm definitely excited for that one. The next series on this list is The Drenae Saga by David Gemmell. The first book is Legend. This is another one that I don't know very much of but it's been recommended to me quite often and I really want to get to this series eventually so that's why it's on this list so that I can get to it in 2020. The next series on this list is The Moontide Quartet by David Hare. The first book is Mage's Blood. This is another one that I've heard quite a bit about but I don't actually know what the series is about other than it's a high fantasy series that is epic that I will probably love so I'm definitely really excited to get to this one as well. And the last series on this list is Under Heaven by Guy Gabriel Kay. The first book being under heaven. Guy Gabriel Kay is an author that I've never tried but I've heard lots of really good things about and I definitely want to finally get to his books in 2020 and Under Heaven is, is one of the series that I definitely want to get to which is why it's on this list and I'm definitely excited to get to this one. This one I do know is set in China. It's kind of like a fantastical like rehistory of like 18th century China specifically I think the Tang Dynasty which is really interesting to me and I'm definitely excited to get to this one. So those are all the books that I have in the mug. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have read any of these. I would love to hear more about them because obviously I don't know anything about them. Also if you have more recommendations of books that I should include please let me know down in the comments because I would love to get your input. I post videos every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday so consider subscribing. I also have bonus videos so if you want to be notified as soon as I post a new video you can click that little bell icon. If you like this video please give it a big thumbs up to support my channel. All social media links are in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!